yeah, it's been um, it's, it's been a very unique experience, uh, and I think these situations are really tough. You know, obviously we came in, um, some teams were on different pages in terms of how much preparation was done and how much um, match fitness was under their belt. So it was a uh, it was definitely an interesting one because obviously you go straight into these very important games where they count towards the league and they're sort of must-win situations. So, you know, after the Chicago game, I definitely think we as a team kind of felt a, a strong need to to come together and put together a big performance against Vancouver. So um, obviously really happy we did that. And now, uh, now it's just the business end. It's do or die. So uh, it's very exciting and the games are... are very meaningful so it'll be um i think it's been great and we'll open it right up for questions a reminder for media members to please click the raise hand icon at the bottom of the screen please click raise hand if you have a question we'll go right into it with ari liljenwald ari your line is now open hey shane thanks for talking today um with this lafc matchup they're obviously known as one of the best if not the best attacking team in the league uh, what are your thoughts just going into facing them and the attack that they bring? Yeah, I mean, obviously it's going to be an extremely difficult game. Um, but at the same time, I think we, we kind of know what we need to do in terms of nullifying um, their their attack. I mean, you look at how some of our uh, front players are playing right now with Jordan. Um, you know, obviously Raul got on the score sheet. I thought Handwall has been really good the last, uh, the last game and when he came on against Chicago. So... I mean, obviously, LA have have really quality going forward, but um, I definitely wouldn't discount some of the players we have up front either. Thank you. Our next question will go to Jada Evans. Jada, your line is now open. Jada, you may need to press the unmute side on your computer if you could unmute on your end. Can you hear me now? Yep. Can you? Hear Yes, no? Yeah, yeah, perfect. Oh, you can, sorry. <laughs> Hi. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, I wanted to ask a little bit about the defense. Um, I know there was a couple slip-ups with uh, with Javi, but overall, uh, you guys seem to be um, playing well uh, late, and especially Nuhu. So wanted to um, get your opinion about that, and um, I, I know you're new with Nuhu, but still, you know, his play too. Yeah, I mean, Nuhu has been – fantastic you know I think anyone who's watched all the games would say that he certainly has been uh, I mean obviously just being in the hotel uh, you know I, I, I've kind of watched almost every game that we've had the chance to and uh, I, I haven't seen a left back playing better than Nuhu um, so it's really great to kind of have somebody like him coming into a form that he is and um, yeah, I mean, I feel like, you know, leading into the tournament as well, we had a lot of um, inner squad matches and the, the defense was, was doing very, very well, uh, wasn't conceding many goals. So I think coming into this tournament, that was a, a big key for us. And, you know, honestly, I, I feel like, you know, Javi has, has done very well himself, you know, and uh, so hopefully now that this next game, we can kind of keep that communication. I, I think the Vancouver clean sheet definitely gave us a, a good amount of confidence to get the clean sheet and the win kind of as opposed to the San Jose game. So, um, yeah, we just got to keep the communication, keep keep working. And obviously, like you said, hopefully new who continues to play at that level that he's playing at. Thank you. Our next question will go to Mazvita Marari. Mazvita, your line is now open. Thank you. Hey, Shane, kind of a sorry, another defensive question, but I'll spin it this way. How has the interplay between the back line, the, the midfield, and the offense gelled so you guys are playing defense and yet transitioning and getting goals? Yeah, I think that was the biggest thing against Vancouver. You know, when I watched the game back, um, I felt like we were quite compact for most of the game. And, you know, when you do that, it allows um, a, a good amount of ch chances to transition. You know, obviously you, you want to keep the midfield defense forward, you know, within a – a, a tight knit compact group and, and move together. And I think we did a really good job of that. Um, obviously going forward against LAFC, that's going to be very, very important. And um, so I think, you know, when you talk about transition moments, you know, obviously a lot of times people think about, you know, the past, the forward past, the movement, and that's obviously 
crucial, but you also have to be connected as a, as 11 players on the pitch, and I think that's what we did a good job of uh, Vancouver. Thank you. A reminder to media members, if you do have a question, to please click the raise hand icon at the bottom of the screen. Our next question will go to Alonzo Contreras. Alonzo, your line is now open. Hi, Shane. This is Alonzo Contreras from Aris Cornejo in Seattle. Um, I would like to know how has been the communication with Sabela Arriaga since a language could be like a barrier between you guys. With Javi? Yes. Yeah, no, it's been great. You know, honestly, since preseason, um, obviously we, we got a couple games uh, together in preseason. We played a couple Champions League games together, uh, Chicago game early on in the season. So it's actually, you know, I, I feel very good playing next to Javi. You know, I think he's, uh, I think we complement one another. And, um, you know, I, obviously I haven't had the chance yet to play next to Yaimar, but um uh, I, so I'm only speaking in terms of what I've experienced with Javi, and and you know it's been really good. Javi makes a huge effort to to speak English and, and learn English every single day, and I'm kind of making a similar effort in, in terms of Spanish. So I think on the field we kind of understand each other and understand our communication. So I think actually it's been a lot better than maybe uh, in the past with with guys who don't speak the same language as, as me. I think now it, it, it's definitely been a, a a pretty decent connection. Thank you. And our final question with Shane will go to Jada Evans. Jada, your line is now open. Can you hear me? Yep. Yeah, I wanted. Yeah, <laughs> I wanted to uh, ask a little bit more about the the way that you guys have um, come together. Um, it, does this situation, as far as defense, um, the defensive line, um, does this situation where you're sequestered together, does that help build chemistry at all, or? At, as far as what you've experienced? Well, well, well I think, um, you know, one thing that's, that's uh, been, been, been something that's been so important is just, like, the competition and training. You know, I mean, obviously, Yaimar and Javi have shown a tremendous quality. And uh, so, and, and, you know, obviously with Nuhu, you've got you, Joven who can play there and, and, and uh, Alex rolled on with, with Kelvin at right back. And, you know, I think the competition has made it so that every single day, you, you know, you're trying to play at a high level. And you're trying to make sure your team wins in training and, and not concede goals. And honestly, I think that's been something that's been very important. So, and, and, and we've all, I think, built a lot of respect out of that. And so, you know, obviously the goal is to kind of continue that with LAFC and, and, and take pride in not conceding goals. But I think there's definitely something to be said about, you know, the, comp the competition aspect every single day. And that kind of builds chemistry in itself uh, with the, uh, the kind of the respect factor. When you look across the other team and you see a guy competing and, and, and trying to do everything he can to keep the ball out of the net, that definitely uh, makes the group come together.